I will start my talk on snacking in diabetes. So, what is exactly the definition of smoking? According to Cambridge Year Dictionary, it's small amount of food between meals. The problem is it doesn't take into account the portion size or the density or energy density which snack provides. Also, categorizing food as snacks or meal fraught with errors since many foods are commonly ingested in both the categories. What does the ADA say about snacking? Say, I mean, it's allowed. Watch your portions. Measuring cups and spoons, that is a great help. Otherwise, you will not know how much you will eat. Do not eat out of a family size bag or while watching or in front of computer or in while well, you are driving because again there will be no account, accountability of how much you have eaten. Talk up on healthy snacks. Very, very important. So, uh, for that they have uh, some guidelines like lower in carbohydrate which is less than 5 grams. There are certain things which are recommended like 3 fourth cup of a light popcorn or so low 5 baby carrots or 5 cherry tomatoes. I mean, you know, those who want to snack, I am sure it is going to be very difficult to follow this guideline. Similarly, other good snacks where the carbohydrate amount is 15 to 20 grams. The small apple or cups of light popcorn, uh, hummus or a small sandwich, uh, half, a, uh, half a sandwich or you can have a peanut butter sandwich or one cup of dried fruit, half a cup, I mean one fourth cup of dried fruit and nut mix or one cup of soup. So this is too less an amount but as it is, uh, we saw that it between the meals. So if you are feeling very hungry, these are the things that you should take or the patients of diabetes should take. 30 grams carb snack ideas which contains 100 to 150 calories. One apple and orange or a fruit and nut mix bar or grapes and zero carb snack ideas which are under 150 calorie but they don't contain carbs. That is an, a, a one hard boiled eggs, some uh, uh, vegetables or a cheese that can be included. Uh, we also know that sweet kits are not totally prohibited uh, in diabetes. So, 15 grams carbs or 13 gram carbs, you can even have 5 Hershey's or 3 pH's or 5 vanilla wafers which, are, which amount to 15 grams carbs or in 30 grams you can have a half a cup of pudding or crackers etc or even half a cup of ice cream. That is a good news for diabetics and diabetic ADA also now has advocated a plate method for where percent of the portion should non-starchy vegetables. What our uh, uh, RSSDI guideline says, very short and sweet, that is avoid deep fried salted foods. So we know everywhere now, wherever we go, the people are eating that uh, lays and kurkures and this, what not. So these packets contain um, uh, empty energies and lot of calories. Night munching and late dinners are to be avoided. Tips for healthy speaking, it's not like you can't sn uh, snack if you have a diabetes. Have an early uh, lunch and there is a lot of gap between lunch and dinner, you can have a light snack. Or if you have an early dinner, then also before sleep you can have a light snack. Why do people snack? So, we all know people are not aware that uh, the lack of knowledge, they are not aware of uh, the metabolism regarding the in diabetes. They are casual towards the disease. And most of the people, number one important thing is they just like to eat. Some people may have fear of hypos, uh, which I will talk about in the next slide in defensive uh, snacking. Excessive hunger, if the patient is on insulin or certain drugs, uh, they might feel hungry all the times. And temptation, as we know in our country, at any celebration is food and food is available in plenty. Everywhere you see there is a food. So how much can you resist? You know, it is like a Vishwamitra trying to resist the main car. You know, there, everywhere the temptation is there. 
so the that is the also thing and there is a late night uh, snacking as we we also had gone to sarafa here to have the late night uh, pits a defensive snacking is that hypoglycemia feels terrible a single episode of hypoglycemia can be so unpleasant and dangerous that it's quite normal for a patient uh, to take every possible step to make sure it doesn't ever happen again so they will carry rescue foods around them to eat is they sense that sugar is dropping they may eat every few hours even if they are not hungry or they may eat larger meals than they actually want or the type of rescue foods which they carry is and feel fine carbohydrates we all know this is one on the one side this is a snacking but on the other side we all know the importance of medical nutrition therapy in treatment of diabetes as Uh, it reduces the absolutely uh, decrease in A1C up to two percent, which is maximum compared to any of the anti-diabetic drugs. And we all also have seen that weight reduction and lifestyle modification would prevent the development of diabetes. The major uh, studies like DPT or Quadong by almost at forty percent to fifty percent. So. what are the other studies like we uh, before few of uh, uh, years we also recommend to pay a patient to have small meals instead of large meals to control their diabetes but patients with diabetes follow typical six meal diet they did not lose weight and did not see any blood sugar control but those who had three meals they lost weight and had much improved blood sugar control in addition the three meal diet improved the expression of biological clock genes may prevent other complications such as cardiovascular disease aging and cancer which are regulated by biological clock genes four meals said in this study which is published in the uh, journal and uh, is a pubmed journal four meals per day compared with one or three meals per day was associated with increased risk of type 2 diabetes in post menopausal cause chronic exposure to hypo hyperglycemia when, when you eat frequently Occur that damages pancreatic beta cell function, impaired glucose regulation, and increased type two diabetes. As you can see here, one to three uh, times a day the meal, uh, which was uh, so much better than the four times a meal. Patient who had reported four daily uh, portions had thirty six percent increased risk of incident diabetes compared to those with one and one to three uh, eating occasions. Was more in BMI uh, when with less than thirty. So this I have already mentioned, and also nowadays published uh, in this journal that eating a day more effective than six meals a day. What about quality of life in diabetics? As you know, people with, uh, with diabetes, their quality of life is lower, and they also demonstrate that free, uh, freedom to eat and drink. an important factor which can increase the quality of life uh, uh, in people with type 2 type 1 and type 2 diabetes snacking is common in in the studies published both type 1 and type 2 diabetes but it was not associated with metabolic control or quality of life and it showed that all patients like either on insulin biphasic or prandial they eat and they like to eat and it's not because of the healthcare recommendation and major reasons were Increased hunger, social reason, out of habit, recommendation by healthcare worker is less common. Other reasons are more common, and snacking and not snacking participant they did not differ in respect to HbA1c or quality of life or treatment satisfaction. Snacking seems to be a common habit in diabetes. Most of them like to snack, and it is not associated with better or worse metabolic control or quality. life another study also they examine more than 10000 patients examination of different definition of snacking and weight status among us adults and they also concluded that but for some small proportion of weight gain in ladies it is not so difference so what to do you are like having snacks in between there are some suggestion you can have a glass of water sometimes hunger is confused with thirst add more protein to your meals for healthy snacking patterns 
your hand uh, on doing some activity avoid keeping snack food in the house uh, get more sleep and reevaluate your meal thank you thank you ma'am